Hello students, you are welcome to Angel Health Academy. Topic for the session or topic for the day is Definition of Health and Concepts of Health. Definition and Concept, Changing Concept of Health. Health is the common theme or the common subject in most of the culture. So, so health is the common topic or common subject in the most of the culture. All the communities have their own concept, that means different different concept of their own health or the concept of health as part of their culture and traditions. So according to their culture, according to their traditions, they have a different concept about the health. That means the concept of the health is not perceived in the same way by all the members of the society or all the members of the community because they have a different type of concept according to their culture and tradition. That giving rise to or that given rise to a confusion about the concept of health. So that led them to different type of the concept or changing concept in health. Thus, an understanding of the health is the basis for all the health care. So to render the health care services, to render the comprehensive and quality based health care services, we should have a good understanding about the health and different concept and changing concept and current concept of the health. So now let us talk about the definition of health. So this definition is given by World Health Organization. WHO in 1948. According to World Health Organization, WHO 1948, health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely an absence of disease or an infirmity. So according to WHO, health is a state. It is a state. State means it lasts for a long period. It is a state of complete the full, complete physical, mental and social well-being. Here there are three concepts, physical well-being, mental well-being and social well-being. Not merely an absence of disease or infirmity. Infirmity means disability or weakness. So this definition means that health is not at all considering as an absence of disease or absence of infirmity or disability or weakness. But it considered health is a complete state of physical, mental and social well-being. The WHO definition consists of two parts. One is first part is health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. The second part it says that health is not merely an absence of disease or infirmity. Not merely free of, free of diseases or disability or weakness. So the WHO is envisages three specific dimensions or three concepts that comes in health. First one is physical dimension, second one is mental dimension and third one is social dimensions. So when a person is having physical, complete physical dimension or complete physical well-being, complete mental well-being and complete social well-being, then the WHO is considered as the man is healthy. So it includes physical, mental and social aspects or well-being or concept. That means WHO envisages three specific dimension in the definition that is PMS. P stands for physical well-being, M stands for mental well-being and S stands for social well-being. PMS, you can remember as a PMS. Now let us talk about what is the meaning of physical well-being, mental well-being and social well-being. The physical well-being or physical health means the proper functioning of all the cells, tissues and systems and organs of the body. So the proper functioning or harmonious functioning of all the cells, all the tissues, all the organs and all the systems in the body. So when all the cells, tissues, organs, systems functions properly in an individual. That is the meaning for the physical health or physical well-being. Then he will be known as physically fit. Second, mental health means or mental well-being means emotional and psychological well-being. When a person is having complete control over his emotions such as fear, anger, etc. Okay. 
and day to day problems etc and psychological well being is adjusting himself and adjusting with the others when a person can adjust himself with the different situations and can adjust with the others with the different situations then he will be having psychological well being so mental well being or mental health means that includes emotional well being and psychological well being then third concept is social well being social well being means the ability to engage in fulfilling the social relationship having good social relationship or communication in the family in the community in the society so social well being is nothing but it is the ability of a person or individual to engage in fulfilling completing good ipr interpersonal relationship and social relationship social communication among the group and between the group and in the family and with the neighbors and with the community and with the society so that he can have his contribution to the society so the man is considered as a social being so we have to interact with the society so we have to fulfill the social relationship thus everyone has to contribute to the development of the society that comes under social well being or social concept so the who definition has three dimension that is physical well being mental well being and social well being when a person has all these three well being together as a com complete state and he maintains this throughout then it is called positive health or maximum health or optimum health so positive health or maximum health or optimum health means a person have complete state of physical mental and social well being throughout the life and he maintains complete physical mental and social well being so according to who health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being and not merely an absence of disease or infirmity though the who definition is widely accepted everybody follows the health definition as who definition but it has been criticized some part it is criticized for its idealistic nature as we are talking about idealistic nature it may not be possible to maintain complete well being that is both physical mental and social well being that is the, as a complete state in the throughout life so who definition is widely accepted by everybody in the world but has been criticized for its idealistic culture as complete well being may not be possible or may be difficulty to attain or maintain throughout the life of a, an individual the second session of the day is concept of health or changing concepts of health concepts of health or changing concepts of health the concept of health is multi dimensional as in the introduction part i have mentioned different communities having different concept or perception about the health according to their culture and tradition so concept of health is multi dimensional there are many concepts and that is or that has evolved over time from the past to the present then traditionally health was viewed primarily as the absence of disease so traditional concept primarily it was absence of disease mean health that was the concept of health so when a person is free from disease he is known to be healthy then but modern definition or modern concept emphasizes it gives more importance to a more holistic understanding not only traditional understanding it is a holistic understanding which incorporating or it includes physical aspects mental aspects and social well being or social aspects of the health so there are mainly four concept changing concepts of health first is biomedical concept second one is ecological concept second concept was ecological concept and third concept was psychosocial concept and last concept that is a present concept is holistic health or holistic concept let us discuss one by one of these concepts first is biomedical concept it is the traditional concept so traditionally health has been viewed as an absence of disease or free from disease that means if someone was free from disease then the person was considered as healthy 
So, when there is no disease, the person is considered as a healthy. That was the traditional concept, that was the biomedical concept. This concept is based on the germ theory of disease. Louis Pasteur has developed a germ theory of disease. In this germ theory of disease, it is believed that diseases are caused by only germs or microbes. So, diseases are caused by only by germs or microbes. That theory was germ theory of disease. So, biomedical concept is based on the germ theory of disease. That is, when a person is free from disease or absence of disease, he is considered to be healthy. So, that is the first concept. That is, biomedical concept. But this biomedical concept has minimized or not given importance for the other factors influencing the health, other determinants that influence the health such as environmental factors, social factors and cultural factors. It is talking about only free from disease. That is, when there is no disease, the person is considered healthy. That didn't meant about the environment, social and other cultural factors also can influence the various problems in the human being. Then afterwards, there are many developments in the medical field and in the social sciences that was led into the conclusion, final conclusion that biomedical concept of health was inadequate. It is inadequate because it does not consider the other determinants. It didn't give the importance to the environmental factors, social factors and cultural factors. So, this biomedical concept was inadequate. Then new concept has arised. That is the second concept, ecological concept. So, the first concept, biomedical concept was inadequate because it does not talk about the environmental and social and other factors. So, that deficiency in the biomedical concept gave rise to or gave rise to other concept that is ecological concept. That is the second concept of the changing concept of health. The ecologist, different eco ecologists in the world viewed that health as a dynamic equilibrium between man and environment. Health means it is the dynamic equilibrium, balance, adjustment between the man and his environment. So, when there is any maladjustment between the man and the environment, that led into disease. Disease is a maladjustment of the human organism or human being or man to his environment. This was the belief of the ecologist in the world that led into ecological concept. So, in this concept, health was considered as a dynamic equilibrium between the man and his environment. Then disease means it is the maladjustment of the human being or human organism to the environment. So, when a person cannot adjust with his environment, he may have some problem or some disease. That is the concept of ecological concept. That means body, mind and spirit is having equal or dynamic equilibrium with the environment or adjustment with the different environment and its surroundings. That is the concept of the ecological concept. But in this concept, they have given only the importance about the environment. They were not talked about the microorganism other social concept. Okay, that is the failure of the deficiency of the ecological concept because this concept explained only about the environmental factors and features and environment. That led into the another concept, the third concept that is so psychosocial concept. Advances and researches in the social sciences showed that health is not only biomedical phenomenon, health is not only related to biomedical concept, but one which is influenced by various other factors such as social, psychological, cultural, economical and political factors of the people concerned. Because to live in the world, we have a different aspects influences such as social factors, our psychological factors, cultural practices, traditional practices, etc. Economic level of the human being. Okay. 
sound economic balances and political influences political party leading also will influence the certain health care services of so political factors of the people concerned all these factors influence the health of the human being that was explained in psychosocial concept so psychological and social aspects also have influence in the health of the person or for developing the disease according to psychosocial concept health is both biomedical and social phenomenon it includes a biomedical concept and social concept then the next concept is holistic concept that is the current concept and the last concept of the health health is the synthesis or it is the combination of all the above three concepts so holistic concept includes a biomedical concept ecological concept and social concept health means not only biomedical not only ecological not only psychosocial but also biomedical ecological and social concept so this is the holistic concept here it is the person will be healthy then he have biomedical concept free from disease then he has balance or equilibrium with the environment that is ecological concept and last one is he is physically mentally socially politically well being or adjusting with the different factors that is psycho social concept so the current concept is holistic concept that includes the combination of all the above three concepts that is health means biomedical ecological and the psycho social concept thus holistic concept recognizes it gives importance to the strength of the social economic political and environmental influences on health and it is described as multi dimensional process health is a multi dimensional process which involving well being of the person as a whole complete well being of the person so then in short ancient holistic health views for ss first s stands for sound mind so that is psychological healthy mind okay mental health second one is sound body that is physical health third one is sound family that is social health okay and now last one is sound environment that is environmental balance of equilibrium so ancient holistic health concept is include a four ss that is a sound mind in a sound body in a sound family in a sound environment so this is about the definition of health and changing concept of health so some of the previous questions asked that is what do you mean by concepts of health or changing concept of health as a short note you can answer biomedical concept ecological concept psychosocial concept and holistic concept then another question is asked as discuss various concepts of health so in that same four concept you can write sometimes you may have a question differentiate between biomedical and ecological concept biomedical and psychosocial concept ecological and psychosocial concept etc okay or even for answer the following also it will be asked so thanks for watching today we have discussed a small two topics of foundation of nursing that is definition of health and changing concepts of health okay hope this video really benefits in your studies and exams if you feel it is really worth please like share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to subscribe my channel and also comment your gratitude as a thanks if the video is worth really worth okay and moreover if you need any content to be made as a video like this please comment me in the comment section and press the bell button to get a notification of different video when i upload in relation to education session so once again thank you so much for watching my video we'll meet in the next session